Thanks so much, Matt. Here with Chef Julia from Ozo, and she is here to share this really amazing and easy, zero cholesterol, soy-free, and vegan plant-based recipe using Ozo. Now, Ozo is a Colorado-based company. Their products are super awesome. How are we gonna use it here today? Sure, yeah, thank you uh, for having us. We're gonna be making a caramelized onion blue cheeseburger today. Oh, for that sounds so good. Tailgate needs, you can make it inside, you can make it outside on a grill wherever you normally make your burger. Okay, for those who might not know, what exactly is in Ozo? Sure, yeah, so we are a plant-based protein. It is pea protein and rice protein. Uh, what makes us different is that we have the shiitake fermented mushrooms in there. So that sort of adds the umami flavor, uh, sort of rounds out the whole product. Oh, sounds so good. This is the official plant-based food choice of the Denver Bronco. So for those of you who like to eat like a Bronco, this is the plant-based way to do that. Okay, so let's get started with the burgers. Obviously, we just grab a burger and throw it on the grill. That easy. Yeah. So you can really use this product like you would beef. Right, and they come um, in pre-shaped. Okay. So already in the patties, just take them out, throw it on there, and we'll do two use the whole package. So I think for a lot of people who are thinking about going plant-based, one of their fears, something they're hesitant about is the fact that they're not gonna get enough protein in their diet if they sure. go plant-based. Yeah. How does Ozo fix that problem? Right, so we don't compromise on protein with this. Uh, we are in at 22 grams per serving on there. What are some of the other ways that people can prepare Ozo at home? Sure, so we have our burgers, we have a seasoned ground and a Mexican ground. Uh, so you can prepare just like you do any other ground beef. Uh, for our burgers, they are pre-shaped, so you could do burgers, you could do sliders, uh, you could chop it up, you could do kind of whatever you want. A little bit of everything. To your imagination. Um, and then our seasoned ground, you use it just like you would ground beef. So throw it in the lasagna. Love that. Throw in your mom's spaghetti sauce, whatever you and My mom's spaghetti sauce <laughs> is really, really good and it is meat-based. So I'm excited to try a plant-based awesome. version of mom's spaghetti. Mom, that one's for you. <laughs> okay, so what are we gonna put on top of our burger once those things cook? Sure, yeah. So we'll leave those on there for about five to six minutes per okay. side um, until the internal temperature is 165. Okay, um, so just like meat. Just like meat, okay. exactly. Uh, so we have some shredded lettuce here, um, some heirloom tomato, I picked yellow because I like yellow. Caramelized onions here, so you just sweat those down. Uh, you can buy them at King Supers, I think already can, so you don't even have to do the work on that. Easy. Um, and then some soft blue cheese here. Amazing. So and then we'll build our burger. We will flip these bad boys. Yeah. And then we'll let those go for another three to four minutes until awesome. they're fully cooked on the inside. So something I like to do at home whenever they're getting close to be done, just throw your uh, buns on there, toast them up a little bit, mm. adds a little crispy, adds a little crunchy. Okay, so we can just pull this off. That's nice and easy. Throw it on there. Oh, look how juicy that looks. Oh, perfect, yeah. Okay, so I can just top it up, throw some lettuce down. All right. Little tomato slice little tomato. on there. I love tomato. Tom Brady would be so mad. <laughs> I'm gonna go there two. We go two. Okay. And your caramelized onions. This is the first time I've used caramelized onions. So. Yeah. So they add sort of that that sweet, complex flavor to your burger that you get from the smoke. So adds it, and then here's your creaminess mm. on there. So I'm a big blue cheese fan. Me too. Oh, awesome. Yeah, this is perfect for me. So you get that funky, fresh sort of flavor to it and top it. How'd I do, Miles? Look pretty good? I'll bring this one over for you. Chef Julia, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Yeah. You guys can go to ozofoods.com to learn more about these products. You can also pick them up in any grocery store, including King Supers. Thanks again.